This is an article, an interview between a per, uh, with a person who was responsible for the decontamination at uh, Prefecture Fukushima and surrounding area. He was responsible. Uh, he was uh, a lead person on this. And uh, I read this article. I'm going to just sort of let it run through slowly. Uh, it's quite long. I'll attach the link to this. You can stop it and look at it and read it as I talk a little bit here. And uh, for me, the synopsis was ultimately that this person who was in charge in NAMI, the, as you see on the map there, the NAMI area, for the decontamination of gathering up all the soil in the area and the towns, whatever they do, scrub them down, try to get rid of the contamination from the Fukushima Daiichi plant. And this person basically says that people have been ordered back and he's asked who's going to go back there. And he said the only people that are going to go back into this area are the elderly, the people who have the least to lose, and the young ones aren't coming back. So he figured that maybe 10% of the population is going to return and they're all going to be elderly, meaning there is no future. There is no future for this place. It's finished. It's done. And the arguments that people have about uh, the uh, what, whatever is going on in the background, this is a forced repat repatriation of people to the contaminated area. They say it's all right, but the levels, the radiation levels are still high, even where it's decontaminated, and they've admitted that they can't decontaminate a forest because you'd have to cut down all the trees, scrape up all the soil, and it just doesn't work. Besides, you cut down the forest, you're going to have natural disasters. And the rivers, the rivers were never even addressed in the decontamination. So children can't skip stones on the rivers anymore. So this is a fiasco on the greatest level. Fukushima is finished. Japan is finished because this plant continues to disseminate its deadly toxic radiation every second of every day for the last six years and will continue to do so for thousands and thousands of years. So this is just uh, for people who are interested in people on the ground, what they have to say. And he's very uh, respectful still of the government and uh, he doesn't really criticize directly. But you read between the lines and you see what's really going on here. These people are desperate and uh, they understand very well you cannot go back there. He says only 10% will actually go back. So anyway, that was my comment on this. And uh, the other thing, obviously, this is now uh, the only thing I want to say about this Trump action to, to throw more bombs at things. This is the only thing this empire understands, which it makes sense. If you have a military the size that you've accumulated uh, weapons, weapons of mass destruction on a scale never accumulated in the history of the earth. We seem to be going into experiences that never happened on, in the history of the earth. And this is another one, an empire, the U.S. empire. Uh, and Trump is the same old, same old. Uh, anyone that had any doubt about this person, you know, no matter, I jokingly say he's, he's a breath of fresh air because he's entertaining. Well, it, it stops once the bullets fly again and people have to dodge his bullets. This is what he's about. He's captured. He's captured by what people refer to as the deep state, which is an organization run by people that really, we have no idea. We have no idea. These are so secret. These situation rooms that uh, the, the owners, the true owners meet in and discuss things. They disseminate their rules and their regulations. And the Trumps, uh, whether, by, uh, whether by acquiescence or whether subversively he's uh, undermined and he just complies. This is, this is just a sign. The Syrian, the bombing of the Syrian base. And it, it actually, I don't believe there's going to be a world war because the world war has been going on already for the last 50, 50 years. Well, it never ended after the second world war. The war has been going on since 1939 continuously. And uh, the empire down south, the U.S. empire, is the biggest culprit in having 
propagated and continued this war with no resolution in sight because, well, there's a lot of money to be made. So this was the article. Um, and uh, I just thought that anyone who thinks the Tokyo Olympics are going to be a thrill, uh, they have another thing coming. And uh, uh, anyone that goes to Japan, I, I feel sorry for them. I, I honestly, it, it's 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 sad. It's dreadful. I mean, that, that I, I cannot see. I wish I wish I was wrong, but I can't see a solution to this problem. For the thousands and thousands of years, this is going to continue. So, anyway. Thanks for listening. YouTube internet, digital friends populating, populating the YouTube ethers. Talk to you again soon.